I'll have uh, I'll have Dave moaning at me in a minute, you watch. Victor Meldrew. <laughs> what the bloody hell was all this about then? <laughs> Hello, hey up and hey diddly, my name is Steve and once again it's a great big warm welcome from myself to Let's Explore. Right then, first things first, before we go any further, if you are indeed listening to this, uh, you will be thinking to yourself straight away, bloody hell he sounds a bit echoey, doesn't he? Where is he? Where is he? Well I'll tell you where I am. I am in a nice hot bath because it's bloody freezing out there and I tell you what, I'm sick of it already. Uh, bring back the 40 degrees like we're, like we're having in the summer. <laughs> it's great though, killing two birds with one stone here and I, editing a video and having a nice hot bath. You can't fault that, can you? Right then, moving swiftly on. So as you can see there, we've got a Ordnance Survey map courtesy of the National Library of Scotland. Now this is a map that was surveyed in 1883 and it was published in 1884. And what we're looking at here is the South Nottinghamshire village of Bunny. Now, me and Bunny go way back, to be honest with you, uh, because when I was about eight or nine years old, that was the first time I discovered the village of Bunny, because we went on a, a school trip with the primary school, and we went through this place, and it said, welcome to Bunny, and of course, you know, I were at that age, I'd read a load of Beatrix Potter books and all that, Peter Rabbit and all that jazz, uh, Jemima Puddled Up, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And, uh, <laughs> And so I had visions of, you know, Flopsy and Bopsy, you know, hopping here, there and everywhere on the village green. But no, uh, Bunny is actually, it's actually in the Doomsday Book, Bunny is, and uh, it's a, it was actually spelt uh, Bonai, or perhaps pronounced Bonai, actually, uh, spelt B-O-N-E-I, according to Wikipedia in the Doomsday Book of 1086. And so basically that means a reedy island, something like that. So the area itself may have been... Uh, very marshy back then, uh, I imagine, anyway. So, yeah, very interesting. So, Bunny then, like most villages uh, up and down the UK, has got some sort of hall or large manor house. And, you know, the hall, the original hall in Bunny, I think, was built in the late 1500s. I'm not quite certain on that. Uh, by Richard Parkins, spelled P-A-R-K-Y-N-S. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. And then around about in the 1720s, it went under renovation. And then in the 1820s, it went under further renovation by further memory of his uh, family down the line. And today's video, of course, is a bit similar to one that we made a couple of videos ago. It's about water houses. Now, we went and found a water house a few weeks back, didn't we, that was... Uh, connected to a call cabbie in South Derbyshire and what a great water house it was. Now in today's video, we're going to locate two more. Now I was hoping to find three, but I couldn't find the third one. The third one we actually tried to find after the first one, but we were actually pushed for time in today's video and I wish I'd have you know walked about a bit more to try and find it. There was actually another water house down by the village brook, um, but after looking on Google Earth, in the morning before we went out, I couldn't actually see it, so therefore didn't bother going looking for it because it had to be a quick nosy today for this video. Right, so before we go and find the first water house, uh, that being this one that you're looking at now on this 1883 Ordnance Survey map, this one that you're looking at is actually, uh, it's actually mentioned on the internet. There's not a photograph of it that I can find, but it's actually a listed building. Uh, I think they listed it in the 1960s. Now this water house was built in the early 18th century, so the early 1700s. There isn't a date on this water house, but the second one that we'll go and find in the video, which is a much more impressive building than this, and I don't know if it is actually listed, the second one, it's actually got a date on it of 1701, so I'm gonna assume that this was built around about either the same time or thereabouts, because it is early uh, 18th century. Now, I think it was actually built by Thomas Parkins, an ancestor of Richard. 
uh, who I think was born in the 1660s and died around about 1740. I'm not quite sure. I'll write it on the screen now. <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, let's stop yakking on and banging on about it because I know you're all itching to go for a nose eh, as I am. Come on, let's go and let's go and shiver his timbers off, shall we? Right then, so here we are, back by popular demand. Everybody's favourite tribal elder, delighted Dave. Good morning. Every, I tell you what, everybody's favourite editor. I tell you what, he's gone up in my estimations. Do you know why? He must be one of the hardest men I know, or one of the daftest people I know. I'm not sure because he's, he keeps going wild swimming, don't you, Rob? Yeah. Stony Cove. Stony Cove. I mean, I quite fancy the idea, to be honest with you, but not, not when it's freezing, mate. I know what you're saying about the water not being as cold as the outside, but... When you've got your budgie smugglers on in that environment, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? And hey, look who else we've got. The pissed up priest, I tell you what, we've missed Steve. Well, we've missed, we've, uh, to be fair though, Dave, we've missed Steve and Rob, haven't we? Oh, definitely. But, there's a ridge up there, of course, we're on the outskirts of Bunny, South Nottinghamshire, as I've already told you. And, uh, oh, I tell you what, it ain't half cold. <sighs> At least the ground's hard anyway. I don't know, why do we do this stuff, Dave? Oh, I don't know, we're just, we're just mad, aren't we? Well, we ain't right, are we? Uh, but we're here, and that's it. But we'll go and see if we can find these water houses anyway. I can see why they're up here, because it's high up, you're above Bunny, so, oh, I'm sliding about. That's how, that's how frosty it is. <laughs> right, let's go and air look. Right, so amazingly then, we've found it, haven't we, David? Yes, we've found it. We have. It's ain't half cold, isn't it? Yeah, the cold don't keep us away. Cold, you young ones don't know what cold is. During the war, so yeah, yeah. Cold, the flame of my life to throw. <laughs> what do you reckon to that? Very interesting. Very peculiar, fascinating structure. Is it open? It says. Yeah. Yeah, it is a water house. Fantastic. I mean, at this moment in time, it's certainly not a water house anymore. I'm pretty sure it's it's grade listed, you know. I'm pretty sure it is. No, that brickwork's nice up there. That's really nice. Great little structure. In fact, got some melted brick there. So yeah. is it a water house? No, I'm sure it's a water house. I'm sure it is. Lovely this is, isn't it? Look at that. Great details. Maybe there was some sort of equipment in here once. I'm, I really don't know. This is one of three that we're hoping to find. Now, one of them, I don't know if it's there anymore. I'm pretty sure the other one is. But yeah. Nice, isn't it, that? So as I mentioned earlier, this particular water house was listed in the 1960s. Now, for a property to become listed, it doesn't have to be the property as a whole. It can be a just a simple feature of a, a property that makes it listed. And with this water house, I think it might be the roof, you know, I'm not certain about that. But the roof is very interesting, I noticed. And when I got there, I just thought it was tile. When I went inside it and looked up, as you've seen earlier, it's all brick. And as Steve pointed out, he called it plinth style brickwork. But it looks like a little pyramid. And I think that's why it's been listed. In this escarpment here, in this uh, woodland that sits quite high above, bunny hopefully there'll be two more there's at least one more to see i'm pretty sure of it so let's follow the path around and go for a nose eh? i tell you what you can't see it on camera it's really steep gradient walking up here and i can see why they've chosen this area you know they've found springs here and they've taken the water and they've got the the advantage of gravity haven't they to get the water down to Bunny Hall, you know, back in the day. I'll have, uh, I'll have Dave moaning at me in a minute, you watch. Victor Meldrew. 
What the bloody hell was all this about then? <laughs> I don't believe it! What is it? Middle, Middle Earth. Earth. Middle Earth, yeah, I feel like Bilbo ball baggins or something like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> Bilbo sack baggins. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway, we digress. So yeah. the second one we're looking for, if it's still here, we're abandoning it because it's very heavy brush and we are limited on time today. I tell you what, lads, I'm glad it's warmed up. I don't know if it's warmed up a bit or we've warmed up because we've walked up this steep hill. I think we've warmed all of bunny up. Warmed all of bunny up? Bunny boiler, yeah, bunny yeah. Boiler, yeah, bunny boiler. <laughs> all right, Merrill Street. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Right, so... <laughs> hey. It could be Merrill Street with his oh, hair. I don't know about that, mate. No, Tarzan, isn't he? He'd be in trouble if I was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would be. And I'd find it a bit strange as well, walking around the woods with... Anyway, it's never mind. Street. Right, so after a lot of tear arsing about, all over the Ocker, we found the main one. And it's big. It's an impressive structure. And you know by now... Well, we're not going in it, Dave. It looks like it's got a newish door on it. But we only want to have a look anyway. I mean, I'm... I'm just in love with these structures. I just absolutely love them. And you know what you're looking at here? It's a it's a piece of history, you know, it's it's amazing. Just look at that. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Waterhouse. It's a, it's beautiful mate, gorgeous. Right, so the amazing thing about this structure is this. 1701, just look at that. Now something's gone off in the past because it says May 1978 up there as well. So they've done a bit of, uh, they've done a bit of structural work. Now you've got the spring gear look. I mean, this is, oh, this is amazing. What a find, absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at this. This was worth getting up for and getting lost and you what? Is it? I'm not I'm not surprised mate. Let's have a look. Ain't you brought your camera with you? It will be mate, it's proper spring water. Alright, you'll make sure we'll put the door back on when we Oh yes. Oh that's that's pretty that is. Look at that. So yeah, crystal clear. And they've got a bit of a, there's an outlet pipe outside and they've got a filter on there, look. So this is, it's gin clear pretty much this water. Apart, well, apart from the dust that's settled on, on the top. This is stunning, folks. 1701. Wow, that's incredible. So this structure, um, of course, we found the first one down the bottom of the hill, outside the woodland. There was one in between that but uh, we couldn't find it it's just started snowing as well and this one's at the top so i think they may be all connected or they're on top of separate springs i'm not really sure but 1701 this baby were built it's it's fantastic and as one of the chaps has just pointed out look, some old equipment here look so it's got the old style riveting on it some sort of tank uh, maybe for some to make the water pure or something. I, I really don't know. I'm just theorising there. Same again here, rotting away. But oh, that's incredible. That is. I mean, a lot of you might watch these videos and think, and maybe not share my enthusiasm. I'm not sure, but uh, that's amazing. The fact we could look in it as well. But uh, we'll make sure we'll put the put the door back. Bit of structural damage there. Bit of a crack in the brickwork, but. I, wasn't, I hadn't planned a video today, so I'm struggling to talk. <laughs> I'm that cold. I didn't plan a video today, and I was scouring the land, and I thought, South Nottinghamshire, what we got there? Because this is my old mate, uh, Rob Beers' uh, stamping ground, this is, around here. He's from Keyham, a few miles away, and seeing all this on the old maps, found out it was still here. I could see it from above on Google Earth, so. May 1978. Amazing. Right, so unfortunately that's it for today's video and I hope you've enjoyed that. This was a real surprise. I knew it was there, but I didn't know it was 1701 constructed. I mean, that's, that's fantastic. It has had some remedial work done over the years, of course. You know, they've put a bit of a date on there, May 1978, weren't it, I think? But yeah. 
really surprised about that, Dave. Brilliant. And yeah. It's Christmas. It's snowing. Yeah, it is snowing. Yeah. It's snowing. Yeah, it's, it looks really picturesque. Could have been nice. This would be a beautiful little spot in the summer. This would, wouldn't oh, yeah. it? Yeah, we'll be back. Absolutely stunning, yeah, but. Yeah, you could have gone and <laughs> got all your clothes off in there and had a, like yeah. a spa treatment for you, that would, wouldn't it? Anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it here first. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Really pretty as well, that. Can't get over that. Yeah. These are my favourite things to find, these are. Dave just said, well done on finding that, but that's what happens when you scour the maps, you find stuff like this, you know. Anyway, it's 321 year old. 321 years old. Yeah, 1701. It's still yeah, incredible. Well, that spring will never die out. That's that's been here since the earth, I imagine. And post offices weren't like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's been great to see Rare Rob again. Um, I'm sure all your fans will uh, be in touch. Woo, Rob, 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 Rob friends. Ooh. Mr. Steve follows, aka the Walkabout Wazak, aka the Pissed Up Priest. Why do we call him that? We're not telling you. And hey, everybody's favourite tribal elder. Delighted, Dave. You heard Pleasure. it here first. Anyway, Pleasure. it's a good buy from me. It's a good buy from him. It's a good buy from him. And it's, it's a tata from me. And it's a tata from him. See you later. Adios, folks. Yeah.